Hello, and thank you for joining me, Rose Ward, StampersDelight.com. Grab your coffee, grab your tea, and come stamp with me. Today I have, I'm working on my PhD, Projects Half Done. And let me put this coffee where I'm not going to spill it this time. I know I'm a little early this morning, but I have a lot to go over. So I thought I'd hop on now. <clears throat> and of course I have to cough. Let me have a little another sip of coffee. Mm. Okay, so a few things I want to go over. If you like that mug that I just showed you or any other stamping apparel, go to stampersdelightshop.com. Good morning, Karen. We also have t-shirts and sweatshirts and other stamping apparel, so don't forget to check out stampersdelightshop.com. Also, my FunFold online class this month is with the Bright and Beautiful. You have to sign up by the 10th of this month. It'll go out approximately the 20th. Good morning, Deborah, Cindy, Tracy. Thank you so much for tuning in early today. Right now, we have the online exclusives going on. And I'm going to explain all that. We also have bonus days, the clearance rack refill, new uh, card kit released, paper pumpkin refills, past kits, and add-ons are for sale. So you're going to want to check that out. So going back to the online exclusives, there's some great new holiday sets there. Um, the one, and I'm going to show you this, this is from the Artisan team, is the Trucking Along now, the stamp set is not available. The punch is. However, you can uh, order those again around the 17th of the month. So keep an eye out for that. Also, I am doing a first ever online stamp a stack. You will need that stamp set plus the A Very Merry Christmas, the Horse and Sleigh, and Hope and Peace. So all the links will be below where you can sign up and you can add on the stamp sets if you don't have them because you will need those to finish the projects. You'll get 20 card kits, uh, four designs, five of each. And I urge you, if you're going to do this, to sign up as soon as possible so that I can order those stamp sets when they're available again, at least the trucking along. You have until the 15th of July to sign up for that. That'll go out approximately the 25th of the month. Oh, Deborah, you got your truck bundle. You ordered it yesterday. Yep, mine come in today. So I'm really excited about that. Yes, definitely share my videos. Follow me on Facebook and YouTube. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. And definitely leave me comments and give me a thumbs up. It Every bit of that helps. Also, just to remind you, I will be giving away from all the orders starting on June 1st up until I reach my goal. I'll be giving away the Boho Blue Mini embossing machine. And I only have 900 points left to go. So thank you all that have already ordered and continue to order from me. So for the online stamp -a stack this is just... Uh, a graphics it's not what you're going to be doing but the link again will be below so definitely sign up for that if you're interested let's see i think i went over everything ah, this is why i said i hopped on early okay so for today we're going to do fun fold friday and i am going to be using the horse and sleigh now, this is a suite. You can get the stamp set, the dies, these cute little snowflakes, and this beautiful designer series paper with the collection. So I'm sure you've seen me show this before. Beautiful papers. So that is the sweet collection. Here, let's see, what else am I going to use? Uh, I think that might be it for now. Good morning, Deb, Patricia, Sarah, Jeannie. Thank you all for tuning in. <clears throat> so let me show you a couple samples with that first. So this card is my <clears throat> customer appreciation card. 
If you order $50 or less from me this month, you'll get a card kit and a downloadable PDF to do this card. You will get the silhouette already done for you, but you do need the stamps or other stamps to finish it. Okay, if you order more than 150, uh, more than $50, you're going to get two of those card kits. Okay, so here's some of the cards that I played around with and already did with this beautiful paper. Isn't that gorgeous? So this is Pool Party, and that's our Pool Party ribbon. You can see the snowflakes, and I added some of our festive pearls in there. Still shots will be on my blog, stampersdelight.com when I'm done with the live, okay? So that was one card I did. The others that I'm gonna show you, I used some of this great paper back here. This one is the um, number six, the More Dazzle paper. I also used some gold foil paper and our silver foil paper, which I don't see in here, but it is available and all the numbers will be on my blog later. I also use the holographic paper. So you're going to see that. Th those are on 127. So here's the next card. I think this might be my favorite. Check that out with the more dazzle. So of course I cut this at four by five and a quarter. This is our misty moon, our boho blue. And then in the center of that, I cut the silhouette of the horse and carriage. And again, that beautiful designer series paper, some of the gold snowflakes and the festive pearls I put inside here. So that was another one I, I did. So now we're going to jump right into the fun fold. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with this one. I'm not going to show it to you yet. And I'm going to bring in all these pieces that I have here. You are going to start with a piece of four and a four and a quarter by 11. I'm going to bring in my paper trimmer. Oh, yeah, you got that yesterday. We're going to score this at five and a half. I want to get a good score line so I can see what I'm doing here. So I am going to use my bone folder. That's a must-have tool. Then I'm going to go in at two inches. And I'm going to slice that right down to that score line. And I'm going to turn it and I'm going to cut the top portion off. So again, lining it up, and it's hard to see in these lights, so I might have to bring it down a bit so I can see what I'm doing here. Get it in that little nook there, and I'm going to cut that down and bring it in there. Now, if it doesn't cut, well, ooh, that did it cut all the way. Good. You can use your paper snips. And this is gonna be my card. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take this designer series paper and I'm gonna cut that to fit right in here. Now I want a lot of the house. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this down to four by five and a quarter. So this would be four, but you see I'm gonna cut that out. So I'm gonna to go to five inches first or five and a quarter first. And I'm gonna slice that down. Then I'm going to go in here at four inches because that's what I want. And now I have this piece. Okay, so I have most of the house. Then I'm going to go over to this side and I am going to cut some of those trees off. So I'm cutting this at five and a quarter. These little pieces I will keep because I can use them definitely for something else. That is gonna go right inside my card. So when it's closed, it looks like this. I'm just gonna push this up a little bit so you can see it a little bit closer. So I am gonna go ahead and grab my stamp and seal. And I'm going to glue that down.
Isn't this paper beautiful? Okay, so on that flap, I'm going to take a piece of white, which, remember, that flap should be a little bit more than two inches. We're going to take a piece of white, and we're going to cut that at one and three quarters by five and a quarter, which it already is. And that is going to go right here. Before I do that, I'm going to bring in my horse and sleigh, my Memento ink, and I'm going to ink this up. This is a 3D card, as I call it, and I've done this multiple times with different um, stamp sets. So I am going to take that, and I am going to stamp that. I'm not worried about if some of it doesn't show. You can see his hoofs got cut off, but that's okay. I'm going to leave that right there. Then what I would do is I would stamp two more. This one has a little oops there, so I'm going to use that one. And I'm, I would stamp two more of these and cut them out. This is going to go right on top of this. You don't have to color them in if you don't want to because you're not going to see it. Okay, so we're going to have that just like this. I'm going to go ahead and grab some dimensionals. And let's see what I got left. I got a lot of minis, so I'm going to go ahead and use the minis. So the oops one is right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw some of those on there. I used Memento because I'm going to be using my blends. I'm going to line that up and put that right over the top of this. So the now the hoofs, you can see them in the top of the um, horse hair, and that's just the way I want it. This one, I'm going to bring in and I'm going to do some coloring. I'm using blends. Thank you for sharing my video. I'm going to take the dark, real red. I'm going to start with that. I'm using the nubby or bullet and oh my god look at my handshake today maybe i had too much coffee i'm just gonna bring that in and outline it and i'm also gonna do a little of her hat here and very gently i'm taking the dark one i'm just gonna go right here and maybe i think i'll do the light one okay now i'm gonna grab the light one and I'm going to grab, again, I'm going to grab the bullet end. It's more forgiving. If you've got a lot of coloring to do, you want to use the um, painter side. So we're going to go in and do this. So this is real red. I'm going to blend that up. Add a little bit more here to her hat. And maybe a little bit more on the side here. And now I can get in here. Oh, if my hands would stop shaking. And just add a little red. Right there. Okay. Now I'm going to go in. I'm going to grab some boho blue. And again, with the nubby end, I'm going to just... Put a little outline here, going all the way down, so I don't have to do a lot of coloring. <laughs> I'm going to go in with the light. Blend that up. And with the light, I'm just going to go in here and do the blue. Now I'm going to grab my dark lemon lolly. 
I'm going to add a little yellow here. Sometimes it's hard to tell where one image starts. Then I'm going to grab... Let me get this out of the way. I'm going to grab my um, natural colors. This is SU900. I'm going to add that for the flesh tone. I'm going to bring in my dark and light pecan pie. I'm going to outline the horse. Go in with the light and blend that up. So let me just show you the other side. The pen to the marker side. This is a little bit, gives you a little more coloring. There. Turn that around. All right. I have my light pebbled path. I'm not using the dark one, just the light one. And I'm going to go in with the light one to do the tail and the mane. Good morning. I'm going to go in with my dark smoky slate and do the hoofs. I see a little spot I didn't get here, so I'm going to blend that up. And there I have my horse. Now, let me see. I think I have some. Let me see if this one, one of these should work. I'm going to add some Wink Estella. Give it a little shimmer. This is a really quick, easy fun fold. And then I'm going to go back in, and I'm going to put that right on top of here with dimensionals. I need to open a, another large dimensional one. Covers more area. Hi, Stacy. And we're going to just grab those off there. And then I'm going to layer it right on top again. So when you look at it, you have three images there. Whoop, let's see if I can get that. There you go. And it's more of a 3D. We're going to go ahead and add some stamp and seal. Measurements will be on my blog later on. Then I'm going to take a strip of white, or maybe I have some. I want a strip because I don't want to take up a lot of this room here. So let me grab a piece of white. I'm looking here for it. Oh, I can use this one. And what I'm going to do is I am going to stamp the sentiment in red. And 
this says sending warm warmth wishes your way. I'm going to stamp that right there. I'm going to bring in my paper trimmer. And I'm just going to cut that. So it's about a one inch strip. See, I didn't want anything too long because I want to keep that beautiful house showing. Grab my dimensionals again. Don't you just love the little ones? They get in every little nook and cranny. right there now for the inside where you would sign it is going to be over here so you have another strip and that's going to be um, one and three quarters so that's going to go right here and this is going to say and a happy new year So this is where you would sign it. Oh, all thumbs today. All right, we're gonna put that right there. Now we're gonna close this for a second and we're gonna grab some of those snowflakes. And I'm gonna go with the gold. And there's three different sizes. There's the large, the medium, and the small. I'm gonna be using the medium and the small right now. Oh, thank you, Peggy. Then I'm gonna go in with the festive pearls. And I am gonna grab some of those gold ones. And I'm going to add those right in the center of the snowflakes. Looks like I have to open another pack. It's all good. I use a lot of the gold. Oh, there's a little gold one hanging out right there. We'll grab him. And we're going to add that right there. To finish it off, also on the online exclusives, we have this beautiful ribbon, gold and silver. I'm going to make a nice tiny little bow. There we go. And I'm going to just cut that off. Now for this, you can use glue dots or your stamp and seal. I have my glue dots right here, so let's grab those. I'm gonna take one of the glue dots. I'm gonna put it right here on the horse and I am gonna add that right there. And there you have a quick, easy, fun fold. Thank you, Zana. Nothing to it. And again, it's 3D here. I'm going to take my envelope, grab a piece of scrap paper here, grab that sled or sleigh. I'm going to grab it in red without cleaning it, so it's not going to be too red. It's going to look more like <laughs> cherry cobbler. And now I'm doing my envelope. Again, I should have cleaned it. Now I'll admit it, I was lazy. There we go. Thank you, Donna. And there we have a cute little fun fold 3D. Marilyn, you can copy any of my cards. 
And when you post them, tag me so I can take a look at them. I'd love to see them. Tag stampersdelight.com. So there is my fun fold. Would you like to see another fun fold for today? Again, still shots will be on my blog. There's a lot of there's a lot of dyes to this, a lot of cute things you can do with it. Um, I just started playing around with it. You got the snow dye, the trees, the little bunny, the sleigh bottom. Yeah, you want to see another one? Okay. Let's do a second one. So for this one, we're going to switch to blue. And I am going to take, let me close the red. <laughs> of course you want to see more. Okay, you got it. All right, for this one, I'm going to bring in again. This is uh, four and a quarter by 11. I am going to score this at five and a half. And two and three quarters. And I'm going to fold it back. So this is a Z fold card. I know you've seen this one. It's one of my favorites. That is going to be my base. I'm going to bring in a piece of white. Let me grab that, which is four by five and a quarter, and that's going to go right down there. I'm going to bring in another piece of that beautiful designer series paper, just the trees, and I'm going to cut that at three and three quarters by five. So again, I'm just going to take a look. Let's move that out of the way. I'm just going to take a look at what I want here. More of the trees, but I like the fence too. So this is hard to decide. I'm going to end up cutting some of those trees off. Okay. So I'm going to bring this in at five inches, five and a quarter inches first, and just slice some of that off. I'm going to flip it around. And do it at three and three quarters. So the fence is actually going to get cut off. But you still see some of the fence. Going back in, this has to be three and three quarters. This has to be five. We're going to cut that out. That's going to layer right on top of here. Don't forget to sign up for the online Stampa Stack soon so that I can order those bundles for you, the trucking along as soon as it comes in. Okay, and we're gonna layer that. That is gonna get layered right onto my base here. Then what you need is two pieces of white. And those two pieces of white are two and a half by four. Now one is gonna go right in here and one is gonna go right here. So the one for inside, we'll use this one, it looks a little smaller. We are going to use, let's see, what sentiment do we want here? Um, I'm gonna see, sending, how about wishing you seasons of cheer? So let's use, uh, let's see, so sending warmth your way, wishing you a season of cheer. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so let's see if this one's going to fit on there. Nope, doesn't fit. So we, let's see if this one fit. Yep. So let's see if it makes sense. Wishing you a season of cheer, sending warmth your way. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to go back in now. We're going to switch colors. And this is Misty Moonlight, so I'm going to use Misty Moonlight. And I'm just going to ink that up. Put that right there. Let's grab that cute little bunny. And I'm just going to keep the colors the same. Put that cute little bunny right there. Let's 
going to go on the inside here. Okay, for the next piece, which is going to go here, again, that's two and a half by four. And when you cut this, because I this is just an extra piece from other pieces that I cut. There's some more trees. And you're not going to see a lot of this piece. So I am going to cut this down to two and a quarter. by three and three quarters. And that's gonna layer right on top of here. So let's go ahead and do that. That, of course, is gonna go right here. So when you close it, it's going to look like that. And then, of course, you see the inside. Next, what I'm going to do is, and I've already cut these out, just for time's sake. I've got two of our tree dies that come with that set. And they're done in the silver foil. So we're going to go ahead and maybe grab glue dots for that, too. that piece out of there. I'm just going to kind of roll that around and add one there. And then add one here just to get those down on the paper. Get that little piece off. I'm going to add those right here. Okay. Bringing in another horse and sleigh, which I've already cut out. That's going to go right here. So I'm going to color this one real quick. And for this one, we're going to use Misty Moonlight. So we got the dark and we got the light. You love it? Hey, hey, Gloria, how are you? And I'm going to go ahead in here. And just outline that in the dark. I'm going to go back in with the light. Color that up. Gorgeous set, isn't it? And if you're like me, you love horses. I think it, to me, it looks like a Clydesdale. And those are my favorite horses. I wish I could own one. I know they're not for riding, but I like them. Okay. So that's all colored. I'm going to take, I'm going to do this real quick. So I'm not going to do light and dark. I'm just going to take my dark boho blue and do the hat. The dark boho blue, just add a little bit of dark here. I'm going to grab my red, and I'm using the light. I'm going to do the hat. Just add a little touch of red. I'm going to go ahead and do this right here. And this one. And then I'm going to grab my pecan pie. This horse is going to be all one color. I 
Hello, Tammy, Elaine, Joan. Thank you all for tuning in. Love, love, love the set. I'm getting my truck along bundle today, so I can't wait to play with that. Trucking along. We're just going to color that all up here. Bringing in my dark smoky slate. Put the hoofs here. And then again, I am using SU 900 flush tone for here. Okay. I think it still needs some Winkostella. What do you need? What do you think? I'm gonna add some Winkostella here. Just to give it a little shimmer and shine. Then what I'm gonna do also inside there is where'd my piece go? Let me show it to you again. You have the bottom rung of the sled or sleigh, and this I did in silver, so that's going to go right there. So I am going to use my liquid glue for this, and I'm going to add just a little bit of liquid glue. Might have to help that along here. There we go. I'm going to add just a tiny bit of liquid glue. And then I'm going to lay that right on here. This piece is going to go right over those trees across the front. So this one, I want to put a lot of glue dots on here. Let me use this one up. Not glue dots, I'm sorry, dimensionals. So I am going to add quite a few here. But remember, don't put them on the horse. Please feel free to case my cards. And if you share them on social media, tag me. I'd love to see your creations. I'm going to add that right there. So now when you open it, the front looks like this. And when you open it, it goes like that. Now, one thing you want to be, be careful of is where you put the sentiment. Because when you open it like that, you can't really see all of it. But when it's standing up like this, you can read it. So maybe push that up just a little bit. But look how gorgeous that looks. Okay, now we're going to go in with those cute little snowflakes. As soon as I find the ones I opened, let me close my ink up. Well, I'll just open another pack. They're on the table somewhere. <laughs> and we're going to go in with the white. And for this one, I'm going to use some of the large white. So I'm going to use a large white one here. And then a medium, looking at it closed, and a small, and then maybe a large one right here. And I'll grab another small one. It's stuck to my finger right here. Get those out of the way if I can pick it up. There we go. And again, bringing in the festive pearls, which are buried here. For this, I'm going to go in with the silver. I really think it makes those snowflakes pop. What do you think?
Thank you, Alfie. Then I'm going to bring in that ribbon again. This time I'm going to go with the silver. And I'm going to tie that in a little bow. I have this thing about blue and silver for the holidays. I even have a tree done in blue and silver. I remember when I first got my very first apartment with my girlfriend, we didn't really have money for a tree. Actually, we didn't want to spend money on a tree. So we went up in my mother's attic and we found a silver tree that she had from years ago. Anybody remember those? And it had a reflector light because it didn't have lights on it. And that's what we used for our first tree. I'm going to put a blue dot right there. And I'm going to add that right there. Look at that beautiful Z Fold card. Who wouldn't want to get that? Again, moving that up a little bit so you could see the sentiment. Let's bring in the envelope. We're going to take that cute little bunny. We're just going to put him right here. And then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some trees. We have a tree here. So let me bring in a piece of blotter paper. I'm going to ink that up. I could have put the tree, I should have put the tree down first, but guess what? I can go right around this bunny with the tree. And there I have another great, quick, easy, fun fold for you. Hi, Roxanne. Yeah, I was a little early. Thank you, Linda. Thank you, Sarah. So that is my other fun fold. I'm going to bring in the cards now. Let me show you this same fun fold. Oh, I forgot one thing. I forgot the sentiment. So let's grab that white. I forgot the sentiment on the front. So we are going to use wishing you a season of cheer. Almost forgot the front of it. We're going to ink that up in the misty moonlight. And then we're going to cut that. I get so excited I forget things. We're going to cut this right about there. Again, it's about a one inch strip. You love them both. Thank you. And for this one, I, I'm i going to move this up because I'm going to put that sentiment there. So this little guy is going to go up here. The sentiment is going to go right here so you can see it. I'm just going to add a little stamp and seal here. I do get excited when I hop on and stamp with all of you. There we go. Okay, that looks better, right? It's got a sentiment on the top. Wishing you a season of cheer and then wishing you warmth on your way. Again, you know what? I'm going to change this. <laughs> I'm going to lift it up very gently. I want that other sentiment showing up better. This is what happens when you get a live. So I'm going to take this piece. And I'm going to cut that at two and a half. And it should be about four. Yep, 34 inches. And I'm going to stamp it the other way. Wishing you a season of cheer. Sending warmth. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn push, push that up a lot higher. I'm going to take my little bunny. that there and then I'm going to add it here so that you'll be able to see all the sentiments what do you think like that better I do feels like Christmas in July thank you Betty okay now yeah I like that better what do you think when you open it you see this but not that So that was my second fun fold. I'm going to show you another one I did. Same thing, but I used different designer series paper in there. 
So here's the other one that I did. And you can see the different designer series paper. I want that little bunny in there too. I'm not going to ink them up. I'm just going to make them real light. There we go. Absolutely gorgeous paper. And so you can read the sentiments. So let's bring those cards in one more time. We got the Z fold card. And then we have, I actually did another one of these. Let me show you this one. This one's the one we just did. The 3D with that background paper. Here's the same card, same paper on the inside. But what I did was I put the festive, the red dots on here. And then, of course, the card for my customer appreciation this month. Thank you, Janice. Thank you, Pauline. This one, without the horse and sleigh. It's got the little bunny. And I mean, there's so many more things you can do with this, cutting out the trees and the bunny and the snow. Probably one of my favorites is this one, just the silhouette in that beautiful, dazzling paper. Yes, I'm glad you ordered two packs of that paper too, because I think it's gonna go fast. I will tell you, if you, let me just flip the camera. For my stamp -a stack online, you will be getting some of that gorgeous paper for one of the cards. So don't forget to sign up for my Christmas in July stamp -a stack online class and also my Fun Fold Bright and Beautiful class. I hope you enjoyed today's Fun Fold Friday. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Facebook. It really, really does help. And give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. I hope you have a great weekend. And until next time, keep on stamping, stampers. Bye.